Hey there, in this video we're gonna talk about overview of API. So what is API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. Instead of going through the bookish definition, let us first understand the concept by equating this with a real life example. Let's say a person wants to construct a house in a very short duration and he has given a turnkey contract to a contractor who will be doing all end-to-end -end activities. Now the contractor has everything to start with mason work, but he does not have skill labor for carpenting work which is a difficult and time consuming task for him. So he approached to a carpenter to help him out. The carpenter said we have ready made products for you. You only need to make sure that your windows and doors openings are according to our standard. And then you can just need to get our products and fit it in the respective openings and that's it. So what we understood here is the ready-made products of carpenter made the job of contractor easy by reducing his work where he don't want to spend his time and expertise. The same concept applies for API where developer can use program which are written by someone else to save their efforts and time. For example, as an Android developer, you don't need to develop each function of application from the scratch. The Google operating system provides you ready-made plugins that you just need to use in your application. These plugins are nothing but APIs. Okay, now let's see one more example. Almost all of us have Gmail account here and you might have seen when we are registering to any other account let's say to a job portal it gives you two options logging through your gmail account or do the new sign up if the job portal has nothing to do with your gmail account then why it is asking to log in through gmail actually they are using login service of google for authentication so that user don't need to fill the lengthy forms and the job portal company also don't need to maintain the user profile as the profile is already registered in the google this is all possible because of api okay now it is clear that api is the code developed by someone else and you are using it in your application instead of putting your efforts in writing a new code and that's all. I think it makes more sense when we try to understand the concept by applications. Okay, now let's have a look at its definition. API is an interface or communication protocol between two different parts of a computer program intended to simplify the implementation and maintenance of software. Let's say you want to book an airline ticket. You will have two options in online. Either you can go to individual airlines website to book it or there are certain websites which provides options from different airlines on the web page where you can compare between them and select the airlines, book the desired seats and make the payment. And when you confirm it actually books against that same airlines and deserving the same selected seat. How does this possible where one is booking on behalf of someone else? Yes, all these are indicated with the help of APIs. Okay, when we go into the technicals, here the agent needs to pull out the information from different airline system to consolidate information on his web page. But while doing that, there are certain challenges. Let's have a look. Firstly, each airline system may have different platforms, like one has system built on .NET while the other on Python, making the integration difficult. So here we need common communication protocol to access these informations. Here, it comes the communication through common format of data like JSON or XML which to be supported by all the parties. Secondly, there may be security concern by airlines that they don't want to give access to their system. So instead of giving system access, they will give an API to the agent through which agent can access the desired information. Thus the business code of airlines is not exposed to the network. And thirdly, this API can also be accessed by anyone else and to avoid any unauthorized access, the airlines will give an API key along with API to the agent through which the agent can be authenticated before giving access to their system. And these keys may vary depending on the certain parameters such as agent type and type of channel used. Thus, airlines will give API name, format, URL and API key to the agent to access their information. 
Okay, you can find many such example in our day to day life and thus it opens up door of opportunities for many small developers and businessmen. Okay guys, hope you are clear with API. That's all for now. Also check out my next video on API Gateway. Thank you very much.